Uh, good old dead cells. What are we even doing today here? I mean, it's, I, I think the plan is just going to be uh, to do a bunch of... A bunch of just practice stuff. Uh, using the cursed sword here. I don't know, I didn't really have too much of a plan as I was starting out right now. Just kind of go with whatever, really. <laughs> ah, whatever. Early morning. Eh, early morning. It's like 10 a.m. Early-ish stream, comparatively. All right. Uh, yeah, you and then give me about 10 is kind of how I've been doing this. Sure, I could just do some regular runs, but I'm just going to save that for my own time here. All right, all right. Ah, forgetting whatever this, for whatever reason, the second one that you end up taking out of the thing is, it doesn't work. It's pretty weird. Anyway, all right. So yeah, this is going to be the next hour to three hours. No, probably not. going to be the next like two hours. <laughs> well, I did, there's no way I'm going to do this any longer than that for an incredibly boring sort of concept as far as streaming goes in any way. But, you know, whatever. All right. Cursed sword training. That's at least the uh, plan right now. I have a basic idea of how to do this fight. But it's not like, you know, foolproof or anything like that, which is why I'm trying to figure out how to make it foolproof. Right? That's the entire plan as of right now. Yep. And then, you know, obviously I have several... I, I have a couple other bosses to do, but still. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Then I panicked and did a, and then, I, and one of the things I figured out is that I really shouldn't be uh, parrying every one of the, every one of the the shuriken that are thrown there. Hello, Vantaman. Welcome to uh, boring, just, just probably very boring sort of stream. But like, I don't know. I, do why? Why did I feel like doing this stream? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't really have a plan. Ah, eh, whatever. It was either this or maybe do like Dome Keeper that just had another big update or something. Okay, yeah. Don't try to parry this. Instead, unless it's the multi hits. Then you can do the multi hits. The multi hits work just fine. There you go that entire thing. Right there, there, there. Yeah, because the roll works better than trying to go for multiple parries at once, or trying to chain together parries, more specifically. And just try to, like, run backwards for a couple seconds is sort of the plan. All right. Now, this is the part that I have more, that I'm struggling with a little bit more, comparatively. Third hit that leaves good opportunity to do that. There we go. Ah! I, 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 I screwed up by trying to do a jump there. Shouldn't have even bothered, to be honest. But that's fine. Still trying to figure out the, the basic strategy of what I want to do there. Not run backwards is probably the way that I want to look at it. But, you know, you know how that goes. Anyway. Uh, oh, the grapple chain does do a very small amount of damage. It's just like that is... It's... The, you, you cannot get hit by it if you want to go for like a perfect fight or anything like that. Mm -hmm. That entire thing. There you 
go. That basic thing. You know, I can hit her probably a couple times if she tries to run over to hit me with a melee attack. That is... Yeah, like this sort of thing. So you, like, get a couple hits in there. Maybe I should. Because, like, it's not a bad... Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's like... It's like uh, yeah, it's... Like, I gotta figure out, like, a good methodology for... If it's gonna go for, like, a third hit or the teleport away. And what direction the teleport is gonna be. I... Hmm... I guess what I should probably... Hey, thank you, Nefei, by the way. I love you. <laughs> Welcome to a boring stream. Where it's boring. Didn't actually mean to do that. But that's fine. Go into that. There we go. Good morning. Welcome to. Also, I saw someone just stopped. I should say uh, something about that in one moment. Just give me one second. Then go for the third hit there, eh? Not a problem, though. Okay. Well, let's see how that is. Hey, thank you, McFaddy. And, uh, and, and, uh, uh, not to. I love you. I love you both. Who? Ooh. I don't like that. And then, I, of course, I just got hit anyway because I didn't react in time. Damn. Ah. Oh. My spice stream with your tidbits of knowledge. I don't like what sort of tidbits of knowledge do you want to have for spicy streaming sake? Because I got like nothing. They're nine months, you're a real one. Eh, boring is best. Well, good. <laughs> like I said, it was either this or do like the new update for Dome Keeper because like I still haven't done Dome Keeper stuff. Yeah, I'm back on that. Uh, I'm back on that cursed sword grind set. <laughs> It's like I was trying to figure out, just like, ah, what do I want to do for Dead Cells right now? Now that I've kind of covered uh, new content to a certain extent. And the answer is, of course, uh, finally do the Cursed Sword run. So I'm currently in the training arc with, you know, what could probably be considered to be uh, not a very good build. Because it does only use pretty much a shield and the curse sword. But it's like if I can beat the if I can beat the boss consistently with this sort of build, I can beat it with pretty much any build, right? Uh, if I'm using the curse sword, that is. That's at least my my uh, idea right now. It's like this is really gonna you know get the. Ugh, that was risky. Ooh. Screwed up the pattern here. Okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Heard of Wall World? Yes. Are you like a mech spider? Yeah, I've heard of that thing before. Oop. Oh, ah. Eh, good enough. Oh, no, I rolled too early into the hit. Usually I just roll past the hit and then get a few hits in there. Eh, whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, what was I talking about here? Um, I don't even remember. I was messing up the multi sure compare. I mean, it really is just mash. Just don't don't mash. Just make sure that you get the first one. <laughs> Although it can be like a little bit uh a little bit questionable in terms of how it works. I don't know. I I guess suppose one of the things that I was thinking about doing vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, actually streaming right now and everything 
was just like asking, how do you want to see? If I was gonna do, I, I wanna do the real Cursed Sword series at this point. So like, how do you wanna see? I, obviously I've been on kind of a kick of actually uh, doing like, you know, more editing and stuff like that as of recent, which is why I think that doing a uh, Cursed Sword is a lot more possible at this point in time. But at the same time, it's like, I don't really know exactly how I wanna format. The idea that I got right now is that I am going to end up, like, doing a run. Like, I, I want to make it, like, a weekly thing. Hone some Dead Cell skills. Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, doing the... I'm finally doing Cursed Sword. Ah, I rolled too quick again. <laughs> What's going on with Dead Cells? I'm doing... The Cursed Sword run. Finally doing it. I'm making it happen. Ah. But first, I gotta, but first I'm taking, you know, a very, very basic Cursed Sword build, and I'm going up against each one of the bosses I'm planning to fight. So, you know. That entire thing. Ah. All right. No idea how to do it without a shield. I mean, it's just like the shield's very... I, it, well, simply put, the way that you dodge that attack if you don't have a shield is, like, by doing this. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. I'd rather use the shield, to be honest. But yeah, that's like the basics of it. If you're trying to dodge that without doing it. It's just, yeah, I, I, I'm I planning to use a shield, which is why I am using a shield. <laughs> That's kind of the uh, thing. Okay, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to format it. It's just like, do, do pe what do people want to see in a Cursed Sword run? What are you feeling like? What do you think is the optimal sort of uh, dealio? Dead Cells Corrupted Edition, what happened to that? I think it's just the many new updates ended up uh, breaking. The <laughs> went, went in too hard, too greedy. Uh, I, I, like pretty much every single new update ended up breaking the Corrupted Edition. <laughs> so it's just like, as far as I know, all I just stopped working on it. So, you know, that entire thing. So I learned how to dodge using jumps and armadillo pack rolling. Yeah, it's like, the thing is, uh, much like in, say, Elden Ring, jumps are sometimes more effective than just rolling through stuff. I don't know. Are you going to be using the deck and the ice armor? I'm actually trying not to use that, at least to start. If I end up using that, uh, maybe. But like, I kind of want to go with, I kind of want to go with like, there, there's a lot of things that have been introduced into Dead Cells uh, since back in the day that actually do make Cursed Sword runs a lot more possible to do. And that's why I'm just like, I want to go for the really hard one. You know, if you're going to down, yeah, go to town in a Cadillac, right? Eh, it was close. But I mean, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to be able to adapt and, uh. You gotta be able to adapt to um, unexpected things, right? Ah, uh, you know how that is. Hi. <laughs> Once again, gotta be able to adapt to un unexpected things. Okay. Ah. I think the most traditionally would be Curse Sword and Shield. I mean, that's exactly what I am doing, after all. This is not ideal. All right. Okay, there we go. Oh, you're supposed to... There you go. That's more of what I'm talking about. Now, parry too early. <laughs> you could clearly see that, too. Damn, I, I gotta stop getting so frazzled every time I see the uh, the wheel of shurikens come out. That's, that's what's getting me more than anything else. 
Finally off the uh, Dragon, my Dragon, it's Dragon D's nuts, <laughs> Dogma balls. Come on now. And no, I'm I'm still working on stuff in the background. I'm uh, I'm applying that same sort of formula to Satisfactory now. So you know, also to uh, the the Stranger of Paradise. I want to start doing that more. I actually had a good time doing the 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 Dragon D's nuts Dogma ball thing. I mean, hell, I just did that for Dead Cells with, like, the head showcase. I'm just gonna keep doing that sort of thing, right? I And as far as I've I seen, people didn't seem to hate that episode. So... I wanna... So that's why I'm sort of, like, thinking... Come on, now. That's why I'm sort of, like, thinking I want to try to apply that same sort of thing to a Cursed Sword run. But I don't really know exactly how I should do it. Like, what's the format? What's the idea? Obviously, if I have a successful run, a full a full sort of thing would be the optimal stuff. But, you know, it's like, what are the chances that I'm going to get a successful run? All thanks to Mornblade. All thanks to Mornblade. Okay, there we go. Really fun to see with Satisfactory. Oh, yeah, I already got the first uh, few minutes done. Now we can go watch that right now if you want to give uh, criticism. Oh, three hits! Three hits! <laughs> it's uh, the, the second phase is three hits. I can't believe I... F uh, ah! Well, I fell for that. It's like it's a standard part of the fight. Uh, what what breaks with... Uh, I, uh, the uh, Corrupted Edition. You might remember all uh, uh, Mod Maker back in the day made like Dead Cells Corrupted Edition using a lot of the unused content and kind of remixing stuff around a bit but that like just kept breaking with every update which is why i stopped updating it so you know all right yeah the plan like i said is gonna be doing this with both uh the well well with both with um timekeeper fight hand of the king fight and collecto fight that's at least the plan right now. It's just like, I'm just going to keep grinding on this. I'm just going to get into that Sigma grind set until I uh, can, you know, consistently uh, do these fights with just like sword and board, cur cursed sword and some sort of shield. Th this shield seems appropriate, which is why I'm using it here. Like, Blood Shield is probably the one that I would go for a lot more often, but, you know, you can't really hit the Timekeeper with the Blood Shield too consistently. Didn't know there were even big mods for this game? Oh, yeah, it's like even before modding was like an official... Uh, officially sanctioned workshop thing. Ugh. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> No, oh, I was I was getting too freaked out by the sword falling on me there that I that I didn't get the last parry. That's funny. <laughs> eh. I wasn't really modded content; it just enabled content made by the devs. It was never made part of the official game, but there were still things that were remixed around and everything like that. Uh, DC might get it may, might be getting a Netflix gaming thing. What is up with all this stuff getting that? It's weird. Ah. Uh, keep on grinding it. I've really been on the 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 grind set as of late right now. But like I said, I just don't really know. Like I said, I, I don't really know what I want to do for like format stuff with um doing a cursed sword run. Like I said, I'm thinking like. I want to do like weekly content like every Friday we're going to get like Dead Cells Cursed Sword Edition. Uh, like Dead Cells Cursed Sword Edition. Start out with like just a regular run and then what? Just go into uh, uh, just just like a sort of medley of other runs that I did. Yeah. You want to see this sort of thing? Do you want to see this? You want to see the training against the bosses and stuff like that? You want just like a small report of like, hey, here's what I've learned sort of thing. Yeah. 
Once again, I don't really want to rely on using the shield here, but it is what it is. Well, well, well. Yeah, where have you been for doing, uh, for doing, you know, what do you call it? The, the, the Hitman content. I still got the next episode out. Maybe we should do a little bit of Hitman. That'd be fun. I mean, Hitman or, like I said, Dome Keeper is sort of what I was thinking of as far as uh, other stuff to potentially do today. Ah, came back to Dead Souls after two months and first... Oh, wait, wait a second. Before I die here. I will read your comment in one moment. <laughs> oh, I went in way too hard there. I, I, I didn't, I, I did. Like, like I got, I got freaked out by the, by the, the line of shurikens, and I didn't get all the parries in. Ah, when does it do three dashes? I think, uh, like third phase, or third phase, like late, late part of the fight. Ah. So you finally returned. What do you mean finally returned? I've been doing stuff this entire time. Here, do you want to get a preview of what I'm looking at for like satisfactory right now? Oh, okay. Uh, back back after some time, I came back to Dead Cells after two months. The first run I did was a spoiler boss, no hit. Wow! <laughs> I did it on mobile before PC. Wow! Wow, that's amazing. Jesus! If not for V and Doc, I never would have got my first zero boss. I went, hey, congratulations. How's England going? Uh, weird. I have now turned uh, Toad into Raukow, which is something. But I have beaten Slim Shelly in a race, so hey, there's that. You fought in the Timekeeper at least 600 times. Yeah, not with, not with, a, not when I die in one hit. <laughs> and also, you know, no, England's a, England's a world in, in betterified six. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I fought the boss a lot, as you know. Toad of Mario slash Toad, Toad of Mario slash Toad. It was now just Rauka, which is weird. Timekeeper is harder than the final boss. Eh, we could do a little bit of uh, we could do a little bit of Sigma grind. Obviously, I think by the time that I actually get to the the Timekeeper proper in the game, yeah, it's like it's cursed sword, and also it's like it's not even like a particularly good build. Look at how much damage I'm doing with each hit here. I mean, it's like you know, I feel like. For somebody that just even started doing this yesterday, I'm doing a pretty decent job with the Cursed Sword. I'm just trying to get down, you know, it's like, yeah, it's just trying to get down all of the basic, uh, all the basic moves and everything like that. You can kind of see how it works pretty well, I want to say, and like where the, where the very punishable things are. I mean, it's pretty much just like when I was fighting Melina, except it's a much better fight. <laughs> Take that, Elden Ring! Don't have to RP walk around for 10 minutes every fight. Yeah, but anyway. Now do it with the Scarecrow? I, I could probably do that. I mean, it's just like, hey, if people really like the Cursed Sword stuff, maybe I'll just do it for other... Like, doing other routes too and everything. I think that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, slightly moving forward. See, that's why it's just like you keep ah, stupid swords. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, flawless boss rush. That'd be something to do too. I feel like damage is definitely what it should be with the cursed sword on. Don't know what the set. I don't know what the set. I think I like. I don't know what like I would have for timekeeper stuff. But it's just like you know. I, I need to get the practice in. Yeah, the problem is, is just like I need to be moving closer to the timekeeper when I am parrying stuff because like 
seven or so shuriken takes a while to do and that leads to a sword falling on my head which is not ideal i think that's the big thing that i've maybe been rolled too early weapon swapping to use skills with the legendary version of the cursed sword i mean it's like i could like i i the thing is i probably i hmm like legendary cursed sword i'm also trying not to use too much which is why i'm not really you know can you change the uh, sword on the modifiers in the practice i don't no, I haven't really tried it because, you know, I'm just using basic Cursed Sword. That's kind of the point. You do get stuff for beating Boss Rush Flawless? Yep, outfits. For each of, for all four of the uh, the basic Boss Rush stuff. Alright. But yeah, needless to say, if I was even able to, like, allow myself a single hit using, like, legendary ice armor, this would... I think I got this down. I would only take, like, one hit mostly for this fight at this point in time. And I don't think I'm ever unlocking those. I probably will. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out what what is the format? Y'all got any like opinions on what you'd want to see for a cursed sword run? For like well, a cursed sword run, you know, progress type of thing. Cause like I just I don't I don't know. Kind of just like wrestling with like well, you know, I want to do more edited stuff, and I think Curse Sword is the is the the Curse Sword is like a good candidate for that sort of thing. Yeah, it's like what I gotta do is I just can't can't be afraid of. The falling so or walking closer to the timekeeper, and then I walked, and then I screwed it up. <sighs> False boss rush is actually harder than normal five boss cell runs. Eh, prop, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Find it funny that the Queen and Dracula are in boss rush, but not spoiler boss. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that they uh, they haven't really put them it put the uh, put the old collecto in there just yet. To the tune of rolling in the deep. No, it's gonna be the, to the tune of Blue Monday. Bow, 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 bow. How does it feel to treat me like you do when you lay your hands upon me and show me who you are? Ah. Uh. Oh, I mean, they're outfits. Oh. <laughs> Too greedy. Know how that be. Ah, practicing for boss rush? Nope, just doing uh, just doing some cursed sword run practice. I'm probably gonna do boss rush eventually. It's just like you know, that entire thing. You have a decent singing voice. Shut up! <laughs> Don't even. Question that you'll tell me how I should feel today. What a good song. <laughs> uh. Listen, I, mean, I was listening to that yesterday as I was doing the, the Satisfactory stuff. It's a good factorying song. A song about, like, you know, yeah, narcissistic weirdos. Um. Yeah, right. Well, anyway, <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Just any Anybody got anything. It's just like, should I just kind of... I, I, you know what? I'll just use my discretion to figure out how I want to end up doing this sort of thing. Want to like, uh, make like Dead Cells Friday, cursed cursed sword Friday. Do a bunch of cursed sword stuff. It'll be fun. It'll be questionably fun. Didn't roll it well enough. Ah, uh, Home Depot theme. Home Depot thing's a good one. I mean, just also just do power hogs. Also just do um, uh, what, what was that one? What's that one? It was it. The orb is an orb song, I think. I can't remember now. Sixteen tons. Well, that's. I mean, yeah, that's more of a like a uh, manual working song. Big potential for singing there. I really don't think. I I need I need like ten voice coaches before I even start. Although I do think that 
far as new order goes, that's at least in my range. <laughs> Compared to probably a lot of stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, there's that one like little last one she sometimes throws. It's like slightly delayed compared to the rest of them. Yeah, whenever she does three in a row, it's always followed up by the grapple hit. Which is fine by me. I know the parry timing for that. You know how it goes. That works. Ponder whether there's an orb song or not. There is an orb song. I mean, it's... <laughs> Two? It's like you gotta get that timing down, right? Ah. Ah. Beyond the ultra world and all that. Y'all weren't around in the 90s. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you can do the hardcore timekeeper. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's like it's pretty easy to say. I would like it if they had, you know, the, um, the ability to do bosses in the same way that you can kind of do here. Yeah, Blood Shield is probably what I would use more often than not. It's, it's just, yeah, it's not, like, good for this fight in particular. I mean, honestly... I could, pr I, it would probably be easier if I took out Blood Shield to go for uh, the giant fight instead. And I should really just consider doing that. Not to say that it's just like I can't beat the Timekeeper without taking damage. I feel like I got the fight down pretty well. And when I have, you know, good synergies and everything and like turrets and whatever, it's like I can probably uh, do this fight just fine when it comes to doing it flawlessly, but you know. All right, let's see what we got. Rampart's also pretty good. True, I was born in the, yeah, yeah, a bunch of babies in chat here, being, <laughs> what, almost like 30 years old or something. What year is it? All right. Whoa, usually don't expect it to go for that hit. Yuck. Ah, too early again. Ah, they're all too early. It's 1931. Oh, no. <laughs> That's the worst time to be at. I could not, there could not be a worse time. A Rampart is probably what I'd end up using most of the time. Remember old timey radio? Of course I do. 2003 for me. Jesus. I mean, yeah, Rampart is... I, I think Rampart is the obvious best shield for for that, but, you know. It's like, it doesn't really matter, given that I am so purposely limiting the way that I'm, you know, doing my build here right now. It's like, I'd rather just be shield, you know. This thing works as a normal shield, and that's the important bit. Because it's just like, it doesn't matter what shield I use, it's all going to work like this. Which is the important thing. That's what makes it, you know, applicable to any sort of... That's what makes it applicable to any sort of uh, build that I'm going to end up doing with Curse Sword. There we go. Does everyone say Rampart's Veil and Shell Shield's pretty much the same thing? Yeah, but like the invincibility barrier is pretty good. Really gotta figure out a strategy for that. <laughs> that's the thing that's starting to get me killed more than anything else, and I don't have a good strategy for it just yet. Um. I think like it's gonna have to be stop doing shield uh, shields against um against the shuriken in the second phase. Yeah, 
Yeah. War of the Worlds on there, no contacts. People were calling police stations and panicking that aliens were here. I mean, I like I know it, it, it did happen a little bit, but to be honest, it's like I I I think it was pretty obvious the first time a commercial came on <laughs> that it's just like you know. I've listened to the old War of the Worlds radio play, pretty good. Well, like, yeah, it does indeed start out like that. I feel like that. Uh, urban legend type of thing is sort of overblown. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like the, those the, the swords falling down from the ceiling much like and that's you know probably a big thing that's gonna come in if I do the if I were to do the giant fight, which is to say adding in the the ceiling stuff makes it does make it quite a bit more difficult. You know what I'm saying? Try it with the Timekeeper head and outfit. Ah, we could do like a little bit of uh, cosplay, costume playing here. All right. I would start dodging in the second phase. It seems like an it seems like an obvious sort of. You know, I just go for the parry there. <laughs> I don't know why did I go for a hit. <laughs> That was stupid. Ay, lies of P. I've been watching a few VTubers play that. Uh, it's Bloodborne. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Y'all want to see? I, I, I could go for a little bit of just like light, light uh, Bloodborne. <laughs> Stalactite attack. Yeah, it's it's a rough one. It is a rough one. And uh, stuff like... Uh, da, 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 uh, projectile reflecting things. What am I thinking of? Wave of denial. Denial wave. Really do shine there. Still haven't got you. They've made a couple updates since since I put out that video. I ain't got nothing. Yeah. Firestar did make a good point last time though that it's just like yeah this does. Some of the boss outfits don't. Some of the boss heads don't really work well. <laughs> It looks very um, uh, simple compared to a lot of the other outfits. What am I thinking of? Ah, too many horns. Okay, let's see. Oh, what do we got? Uh, what what do we got for time? Keep outfits. Collector's hood that works really well with the collector outfit. I'll just go classic. Cocoon, I, I, Wave Denial should work on projectiles. It always has before. Not enough horns. <laughs> no, it's not like the, it's not like the Mama Tick outfit where, where you really gotta go for, where you gotta have maximum horns. That's the only way to play. Or and maximum eyeballs, I mean. I have so many things I am missing for. So many things that I'm missing for. Uh, oh no, not all of them. There we go. Let's try it. Flawless temporal outfit looks good. I always feel like the flawless outfits are so ostentatious and ridiculous looking. Needs more horny. No, no. No, we don't. We don't need it. No, we don't need that. Here, let's just... Just, just for funzos. Let's give it a try. Eh, you know what? This probably work out pretty well. More than anything else. I didn't actually mean, I meant combo. I meant combo. I meant you and I meant, uh, uh, um, no mercy. Sure. We love ostentatious. Well, do you want me to go put on the, 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 the flawless Dracul outfit and the flawless uh, torch again? <laughs> Cause that one, oh boy. What a delightful. What a delightful thing. Maximum belts and feet. What a weird... Oh, wow, that is much faster. <laughs> yep, you can, you, can, you can feel it, baby. Okay, I, I, I just wanted to see. It's just like, how, how does it translate? It's like, no, you gotta, you, you gotta get used to it being much faster. I'm not surprised. 
But I wanted to check it out anyway. Ah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Time for a break from Timekeeper to go for another boss. We could, if you feel like it. If you want to. If you want to. I got all the flawless outfits at this point in time, baby. So, well, I'm, I'm still missing the one outfit. Obviously, I have beat the Collector. I said this many times. I beat the Collector flawlessly, but, you know, I haven't gotten the outfit yet. Uh, you've seen it. There's video evidence of it on YouTube. Hey. Not for us. We want you to reset. I don't know. I like that's the thing. I never get. I don't get burned out by anything. I can just do stuff forever. I just experience terrible anxiety. Yeah, you know, let's just. I I have no idea what sort of level of stuff I have here. You didn't say spoiler boss. This is a stream. Yo, the only people watching the stream are the true believers. You all know. You all know and lots of spite. By the way, Mornblade, how did you enjoy the uh oh here, let's let's go, let's go do a hand okay. Mm -hmm. I had a strongly worded email to Evil Empire. Our perfect for build colors, red, green, purple, white for colorless mode. <laughs> So like if you really want to do that. Unfortunately, you can't change um, outfits in... It was watchable. Oh, come on. You don't have White King? I have beaten the final boss flawlessly. But it's just like... I, I choke really bad, to be honest, when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to... Um, uh, uh, doing bosses. As the I know how to dodge that. I was just trying to go, you know. You didn't sound like you were in pain playing the whole time. I, was, I wasn't I was playing as I was talking. <laughs> like, I was scripted. It was done in, what was it, like 70 MP3s. <laughs> and then hacked together. Ah, whatever. You know what? I did it. I actually had a good time with it. Which is sort of, which was the outcome that I was hoping for, to be honest. So I want to do more, I want to do more like, you know, heavily edited scripted stuff. But I also want to do more regular series because that's the sort of stuff that I prefer more often than not for content. Ah, uh, you know, it's a, the dichotomy of man. Oh yeah, if I'm doing Hand of the King, I should probably. Oh, come on now. Cut that out. I said, st will you stop spawning stuff? The freezing is sort of messing me up here. Oh my god, please, hand. You gotta stop doing that. It's it's getting pretty annoying. Now, ah! Why is it that move? Why that move? Ah! The climb was in servant's practice. That, that part, that part is the part that messes me up the most. It's it's the fact that it's like an entire level where it's it's hardcore platforming, which actually I really like having, you know, in terms of uh, no, not this. It's like if I'm going for the hand of the king, I should probably have about thirty roughly. Uh, that's that's you know closer to the actual stat distribution that I would have at the king, right? And fought Hand of the King since his queen was added. It's a good fight, but it's just like, oh, if I'm going Cursed Sword, I'm fighting Hand of the King. <laughs> Ice on Shield is probably not a good idea. Going to mess up your timings. Well, you do always have those little platforms at the edges that I think do do really make it. That, that's sort of like your emergency dodge <laughs> dodge area. Rising fire in the servants attacking you. The max amount of stats. I feel like that would... Um, uh, bosses do have like a light damage cap where you can only do what is it like five percent five percent of the uh health in a single hit or something like that ah oh that was so close okay that works bro I was really chewing through that boss health bar. If I got like 30, you know, if I get like a good stat distribution, I can probably take down bosses pretty quick. Can be a little jank. I, I, maybe it's just the fact that I've been playing this game for thousands of hours, but it's just like, I have no issue with the platforming in Dead Cells. 
feel like I can do it pretty well. You know, I honestly feel like Hand of the King might be one of the easier bits in the game here. <laughs> Funny to think. Servants have super high damage cap. You can practically two shots th shot them. I mean, I, I have seen that. Certainly. Once again, I don't like the... <laughs> yeah, but I have, like, good stats, as it turns out, yeah. Or, you know, even... You know, just it, I, I think, like I said, it just goes to show you how how uh, it's how much easier it's gonna be in an actual fight. They don't have a damage cap anymore, at all. Hmm. I thought they still did because it's like you know, the I'm just going going, going to go back to doing about twenty. I know hit the first three boss rushes, one after the other. Wow! You are very good at this game. <laughs> Damn! That is impressive. 99 brutality. Played for 950 hours, spent a week playing Blasphemous, came back to DC, and needed a half hour to double jump and roll properly. I don't know. I feel... Like, it, I, it even translated really well to when I was doing, um... Death's Gambit. And honestly, uh, Blasphemous, too. I feel like I, I was able to... Okay, so note to self, I might want to go for, like, maximum amount of stats possible when it comes to doing the Cursed Sword run. I was sort of thinking, it's like, ah, you know what, Cursed Sword is going to be good enough. It's probably just going to cover me based on its incredibly high base damage alone. No, I think stats are probably important. That was weird. Usually don't go for the, the double uh, shuriken hit. I feel like that's a, something of a rarity in terms of... Uh, in terms of the, the general boss mechanics. I did the parry way too early there. It's like a stun. Like, I'm doing enough damage to get a, a stun so she's resetting her uh, moves. That can happen. Last one is a slower platformer. Messes up your timing. It's so weird. It's just like I play so many video games all the time that it's just like... It's just like, I just kind of like accept it as, well, it is what it is, that sort of thing. You know, needless to say, the uh, freezing actually works pretty well for this. Now, I did go in a little bit too hard there. <laughs> uh, you don't see people doing soul level ones, st stat level ones. Soul level one of Dead Cells. Yeah, but I don't know. I felt like it's like I would have an easy time e even even with a bit lower stats so that I could just skip a few here and there, make it a little bit easier for me in the individual biomes. I think I really need to go and max out stats as much as possible. Oh, I don't know if I'd want to do the uh, Soul Ligma. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> A good mentality. I mean, it's just I play so many video games that it's just like, hey man, Ugh, it's always risky to run through that attack like that. That's what I don't care though. Yeah, maybe not good against Hand of the King. Pretty good against Timekeeper though. The uh, the freeze attack. I feel like actually going for. I mean, but of course, it's just, in all likelihood, I probably am going to end up using some sort of crowd control for the Cursed Sword run. I feel like that's just, that's just good sense. I am way too close to you right now. <laughs> ah, whatever. wasn't so close that I was having any sort of real issues. There we are. Ah! Try getting two times damage, given and taken. Well, I mean, obviously, that would also help out a lot, too. It's not like there's any real... Uh, three hits! Three hits! <laughs> it's always three hits! Stat maxing mentality. I mean, that's always... That's my normal mentality. I, no, I was talking more about just, like, playing video games. I, I, oh, it's the sort of thing where it's like, I don't even re mind, like, restarting. It gives, me, it gives me that second to breathe here right before getting thrown into fights. It used to be that it's like, I would probably be annoyed with the fact that I can't just get... That there's not just, like, an instant retry button. But I just kind of accept that that's, like, what it is. Oh. 
It makes me feel like it's just like, am I too deep in? And the answer is, yeah, absolutely. But that's 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 good. I want to be too deep in. <laughs> the deeper, the better. You can never be knowledgeable enough about video games, right? Or skilled or whatever. I don't know if I want to go for the regular melee hits, but the... Oop, that was close. Because if they line up just perfectly, I can just get, like, absolutely moitalized by the... <sighs> oh, 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 that actually worked! <laughs> I, I really thought I parried too quickly and I was about to just give up. <laughs> Okay, that was close. <laughs> Thank you, reaction time. Oh my god. Bro, that was also very close too. Just Oh, what is this? What is this? What am I doing? I mean, I'm making it work uh, until then. <laughs> eh. Can't do instant respawn type of games. My frustration meter fills up way too, way too fast. Uh, if this wasn't Dead Cells, I this would probably be be really taking a toll on the old brain box here. I mean, I just think about like, you know, doing this sort of thing for, uh, for Dust Force recently or Celeste, of course, I also played. It's just like, oh, is, for whatever reason, I, I've talked about that before, where it's just like, I would rather just restart 10 hours of gameplay than, you know, like 10 minutes of, 30 second retries in Celeste, stuff like that. It's just something about that is just real hard for me. There we go. You know, maybe I should actually go for, well, when I can, getting the parries for doing the dash. It's clearly working out pretty well. And if you even get like a small amount of Small amount of stun time that's very punishable. Of course, it's just like I also gotta unlearn that sort of uh, muscle memory type of thing, though, too. You know how that is? I finished Celeste 100%, closed it, and said that's a good game, and never wanna play it again. Yep, pretty much same thing here. You know what I'm talking about, Chapter 9. <laughs> Quit running after me when you're when you got the when you got the the shurikens on. Ah, it was timed too well that I couldn't uh, just chain a parry in there. Hey, yeah, and then here's me where it's just like I I I ended up just uh, uh playing through Dust Force, which was fun, ish. By the end of it, I was actually kind of. <clears throat> By the end of it, I was actually kind of getting it. Like I, I, I felt like I, I felt like I had the controls down well enough that I could be able to like react to stuff, and not have to like pre-plan every one of my movements, <laughs> which it takes a while for me to get there. <laughs> Dead cells was not built in the day. Let me tell you. And even then, you know, I'm not, I'm hardly perfect at it. I think it goes without saying. Uh, but it's just like, still, I was just done with that game. I mean, it's like, could I do better? Probably. You know what? I'm not even probably. Absolutely, I could do better in Dead Cells. Er, not Dead Cells, <laughs> Dust Force. <laughs> but I just didn't want to. <laughs> Good game, though, if you're into that. It was built in at least two days. At least. Minimum two days. You gotta play you gotta play Dead Cells for a minimum of two days if you Too early. <laughs> that's that's the grinding though. It's like you gotta get those timings down. Whatever. Oh, yeah.
Oh, Dust Force has an absolute. Yeah, if you if you if you are totally disinterested in Dust Force as a game, it has an absolutely fantastic soundtrack. Throw that on while you're studying or something. It's a very good. The green boss rush sticking belt, sticking belt. I I actually don't know. I have I have really not done much of anything for boss rush. I don't know why. I couldn't really tell you. But it's like yeah, I'm I'm actually very not knowledgeable. Same thing with like daily runs and stuff. I mostly just do the regular game, of course. Needless to say. And then, you know, because I found out uh, doing the head thing. Ending cosmetics, I suppose. But not all. Too late. <laughs> ah. Gotta stop being so greedy. Gotta stop being so greedy. Too greedy, chat. You're too greedy. Oh. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do for, uh, like I said, I'm gonna do like, we're gonna do Dead Cells Fridays. Well, well, Cursed Sword Fridays for a little bit. As I try and get the Cursed Sword run done. And then I am going to... I'll, like, add in a little bit of, like, boss rush fun stuff and then just, like, a few sample runs. And boss rush fun stuff and sample runs will probably be uh, post-commentary, maybe, like, lightly scripted like I've been doing. You know, in other words, just, like, kind of come up with something to say ahead of time so I'm not fumbling as I'm speaking, basically. Yeah, I, th I, I think that's, a, eh, that's probably a good way to do it. I think people would at least like to see, like, how y'all feeling about the boss, the boss stuff, the boss training. Y'all liking this? You think this is interesting? You having a good time? Cursed Fridays. <laughs> I'll also bring out the most cursed conversations that I possibly can think of. Cursed Fridays. I think it's probably a good thing. I mean, basically, I already, you know, do Dead Cells, like, weekly-ish as it is. Okay. So, it's really, it's not like it's going to be... <laughs> I didn't, I, I, wa I want to go for a parry, and I just did not get that timing, and I don't even know why. <laughs> to be honest, yes. I right, well, let's do this a little bit. Ah. Uh... I do. I don't think that there's a little, you know, like a little bit of light grinding, like really trying to understand it and everything like that. Cursor keeps attention. Up. Mm. I like streams on where I don't have to pay close attention. I've been watching a lot of, uh, a lot of. I, I don't know if you've been. Um, I don't know how into the VTuber scene y'all are, but everybody's playing this fucking Suica game, and it actually looks pretty fun. If I had a Switch, I'd probably get it, but I don't, so I can't. But, like, yeah, that's kind of been my jam as of late. Because, like, seemingly literally every VTuber is playing this. Or at least all the big corporate ones. All the corpos. <laughs> and I like corpos. Yeah, uh, You know how that is. But, yeah, it's been some good stuff as... Like I said, I've been trying to opt... Oh! I, again, I thought I was too late for... I, I thought I was too early for the... The hit, and then I screwed that up. Because I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. A smooth voice to sleep to. Yeah, and then, and you know, also I can continue talking even while playing a Cursed Sword run, which is just, you know. Oh, I would totally be Corpo. Like, no question. No question. I'm not going to be out there uh, dorfing and, and, uh, Hot, hot hacking into the mainframe or whatever. I'd be Corpo, baby. Why wouldn't you want to be Corpo? That's how you get the good stuff. <laughs> uh, you, you can borrow my Switch. <laughs> Wait, you have a, hold, hold, hold up. When did you get a Switch? <laughs> hold the actual up. Cyber Waifu. Yeah, exactly. When did you get a switch? <laughs> when did, why didn't you tell me that you got a switch? What? What? <laughs> that was bad. Like a year ago, I literally haven't used. <laughs> I 
I am so mad. <laughs> I, uh, hmm. Switch emulator, Yuzu. <laughs> oh my god. Knows what to do. I mean, it's just gonna be Cursed Sword, right? It's like, this is the cursed update. I just... I, 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 said, I said this in the, in the Cursed Sword run that I was doing previously to kind of start this one out. But like... It's like I just did a no-hit uh, run to get the black hole head. Uh, make more sound garden reference. Insert sound garden reference here again. And like it's the cursed update. It's October. I think I could probably do a cursed sword run in four weeks, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> in all likelihood. We could make this like too early. <laughs> Keep hitting it too early. Keep hitting it too early, Doc ASMR. Did you see the April 1st video? <laughs> Black hole head, won't you come and wash away the chat? It's such a good track. Oh, I keep hitting it too early. I keep hitting that gritty too early. Ah, uh, I did well a part of it. Oh, come on. Wasn't good enough. Gotta do more sniffers. That's what. Oh man. Oh man, usually getting kind of close here. A little bit too close for comfort, eh, hey, uh, hey, timekeeper? Too sexy. I was scared. Sexy? I felt like it was comforting. And also very stupid. And also just basically an excuse for me to do the cross run against the Dracul. Which worked! Against Deep Draculo. And there we go. I really gotta start committing to some of the stupid strategies that I'm kinda coming up with here. <sighs> I understand what kind of ASMR Doc listens to now. Oh yeah, no, I I, I feel like I've never been shy about talking to them eh, too early. I feel like I've never been shy about talking to that. Yeah, it's the bad kind. <laughs> what kind of ASMR do I listen to? The bad kind. <laughs> the kind that the kind that would make you shit yourself right out of the room. Uh what a terrible visual image that I just came up with there. <laughs> I don't I I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Sorry everybody. What? I'm lonely. <laughs> I was surprised that I got that. Just goes to show you the uh, parry timing is pretty generous in dead cells, thankfully. Mhm. Mm Lol. Oh, whatever. Second guy, you already know. Whoa. Hey, thank you, Kevin Chair, by the way, for the uh, for the five gift subs. I am working. Wait, <laughs> that was frightening. Um, I am working on Endless Legend. I bought it. I'm not working on it, but I I, I bought it. I have it. Oi. Okay. You can go for three hits there, but I feel like... Oh, no! That was way too close for comfort. Ah! 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 Eh, it's, okay. it's going okay, actually. You know, to be honest, it's going fine. Yeah. Dang it. Endless Legend? Yeah, it's part of the... Uh, yeah, I didn't realize that was the same developers as Endless Space. Should be up for recording tonight? Okay, yeah, we should do that already. I've had that for a time, for a grip and a half, after all. Ready to go. Ah. 
Yeah, the timing when she starts to run towards you. <laughs> How's it doing then? I need to give Doc money. You really don't. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, unless you want to. I was punishment for your insolence. Everything's punishment for. I, I am very insolent. It's true. And insolvent. Ah. Don't know how this thing works. Ah, don't worry about it. All right. Yeah, we got Hitman 3 to start here. Which is, uh. Which is, and it starts with the, it starts with a lot of fruit. Let's just say that. If you like fruit-related assassinations, <laughs> well, boy, howdy, this is one of those. All right, there you go. Keep on rolling with this one. But yeah, it's like, I don't know, I feel like I might... I'll, I'll add in a little bit of uh, boss rushing. Try and get some good stuff going. Hopefully get this out then later today. Silent Assassin fruit only. <laughs> I don't... I can't really think of any poisonous fruits. I mean, I guess there were sort of some in Colombia. Like, sort of? Were those fruits, though? Or were they more like flowers? Eh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta hit it twice! Gotta hit it twice. Got, got really fond of the Dubai map once I wrapped my head around its verticality. Eh, I spent so much time in each one of those maps that it's just like, bleh. Bleh. Doc ASMR was on April 2nd. It was not on April 2nd. I don't live in, you know, the... the, the, the East, east, eastern part of the world. Eastern hemisphere, whatever it is. Will you change boss if you win? Oh, no, it's not about winning. I mean, winning doesn't matter at all. I gotta do this ma I have to win with, like, a 70% consistency or something before I feel like I'm satisfied. Winning just means that it's just, like... I got it well enough to win at least once. Oh, this, this is this is not this is not about winning. This is about training. It's like you don't you don't you don't rest once you get once you get a, a shot from the free throw line. It's just like okay, now you know you can get the shot from the free throw line. <sighs> you can navigate Hitman Mask better than your hometown. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, I never really went too far in the hometown. Also, I'm bad at navigating places. I feel like I got the first phase down pretty well, at least comparatively. But yeah, like, if this was only the first phase, I'd be able to do it easy. It's like Millennia again. <laughs> Stupid Millennia fight. Hate that fight. It's mostly because of Waterfowl Dance. Everything else is totally fine. I mean, even the healing. I thought the healing was actually a pretty uh, neat sort of mechanic. That, except for shutting down builds, which I think is, you know, ridiculous and kind of like bad game design. It's like otherwise, I thought that that was a pretty cool little addition to the fight. It's the sort of thing that really encourages you to not just, uh, not just, uh, 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 you know, heal heal your way through fights there. Really think, strategize a little bit better. There we go. See, and that's just once. <laughs> it doesn't matter because that's just that's just one. <laughs> like I gotta, I did. It has to be like a seventy percent success rate or something before I can do that. I and mean, that's great, but it's not good enough. It's like I gotta, I gotta do it better. Ah, it's it's gotta be consistent, baby. Gotta be consistent. Three points. Yeah, but it can't just be three points. I gotta be able to hit that. I gotta be able to hit that gritty consistently. GG, now do it again. Exactly. <laughs> See, you know, you, you got it. That's a Sigma grind set, baby. Never be satisfied. Always be working to be better. 
Sigma grind set. <laughs> the phrase Sigma grind set is very funny. All right. And it's just like, like I said, the actual fight in a Cursed Sword run is going to be way easier. <laughs> and doing this right now is just preparing me for doing that fight eventually. It's like, if I can do this fight right now, I should be able to do the, I should be able to perfect this fight with a Cursed Sword extremely consistently. <laughs> Which is the plan. It's a simple plan. Brilliant. P-O-H levels of grind? P-O-H? P-O-H. P-O-H. Ah! Yeah. Prisoners of Hazkaban? No! I did it again! Pantheon of Hollow Nest. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I actually just got that as you posted it. Eh. Path of Hexile. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking too. It's like, Path of Hexile? I'm only able to catch a dock stream during lunch. <laughs> I don't know if this is the most interesting sort of stream content, but like, you know. Standing right below it. Yeah, I, I, gotta fi I gotta figure out something better, because that is... That is starting to to mess me up here. You should practice the other bosses too. It's like oh, we, we could we we could uh, uh, get an attempt in here, here and there. <laughs> hey, hi. That was a lot of questionable plays on my part, but I wasn't punished for it. So it just goes to show you goes to show you what? I don't know. Something. Certainly goes to show you something. I mean, it goes to show you that I'm getting this boss fight down better, right? <laughs> oh my god. Incredible superstar. We'll throw some lyrics. Make a run like a supercar. Whatever. See, you can, you can see it. You can see that it's just like the... Right, three hits. <laughs> you can see that it's just like, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's like, I, I feel like I got it. Having some good skills distract you in a real fight. No, no way. Because I'm not going to be this sort of... Uh, I'm not going to be this level of aggressive in the real fight. Maybe. Ah, nah, it's not going to distract me. There's plenty of downtime in what I'm doing right now that I can use to throw out skills. And besides, I also favor... Not that. Uh, I want to switch out the the uh, the stuff here. I want to switch out my old outfit before I hit that gritty. What are you feeling now? You feeling like you got a good outfit combo that you want to see? Anything of interest to you? Yeah. Because like I really don't know. <laughs> you can just go flawless torch. Everyone's favorite. Big dumb show off thing, or the black hole, of course. Eh. Uh, what else? Pink queen? Pink in what way? Do you want the. Here, how does this look? It's not quite the same shade, is the problem. Eh, it's fine. I think it works well enough. Yeah, toxic blob like chat. Hey, thank you, Dak and Neil. I told you you didn't need to, but thank you so much for the subs. <laughs> you really do not need to throw money at me. <laughs> but I do very much appreciate it. Ah. You're very hot now. Yeah, it's true. That is it, right. It doesn't work the second time for some reason. Uh... All right. Yeah, you're right. All right. Blood shield. We should be fine. I do love you. It's true. And go for that 30. Hit that gritty. Okay. 
both on DG. I've heard that person before. What? Do, why? Why do I know that person? Have I? Have you been around here on that on that account? I don't actually remember. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> like. Yeah, okay, that's... I thought I recognized that name when you said it, but I'm just like, like, do I? What I have, have I seen you? Have I seen you around somewhere or something like that? You got channel colors, you can't fail now. I'm using a cursed sword, I can and will fail. I mean, this is also more like Princess Peach colors, but you know. Okay. Ah! Why is it always that hit in particular? Ah, you'll never be able to force him to play a game if you got two accounts. Troll. <laughs> eh, I mean, it's going to take me a while to, to, you know. Yeah, it's funny because it's just like, I feel like Hand of the King is going just fine, except for literally that one move. <laughs> God, that helped me a lot during some down times. I was cheering me up with some nice DC skills and incoherent rambling. That's uh, that's my content, baby. Incoherent rambling. And it feels like it has a lot more variance. What with the flags and the mom's vomiting. I don't know. It's just like there's there's still... I feel like there's still plenty of things that make like Timekeeper a lot more uh, frustrating. Because there is some randomization to the... There is some randomization to the... I was just right underneath him. <laughs> he just slammed right down on me. Uh, anyway, what was what was I seeing? My first stream on the PC was Glaive Showcase. Ah, Glaive Glaive's still a good item. It's just I feel like I never really use it. I just want, I just want to go to the Timekeeper because I feel like that's the hardest fight that I got right now. Ah, uh, but yeah, you got like the falling swords. You got like the the amount of shurikens that are thrown, which as you you've seen makes a difference. <laughs> I think that I think I I gotta figure out some way to deal with like the seven seven throne things. Mm -hmm. Nah, I was hoping to get the flags before I had to roll for that, but, you know. Eh. Dodge all of his attacks perfectly. Man, Artorius in the first Dark Souls. That It's it's funny because, like, Artorius is just... That's just how they make bosses now. Artorius is just how they make bosses now. But the first time that was introduced was such a... Such a wall of a boss, right? <laughs> I got to dodge all the attacks perfectly except for one attack where he uh, stabs you at close range. It's like the one you're failing to avoid. I mean, it's it's not even like the slam down. I, I You know, you just double jump into a roll sort of thing for the slam down. That's what I just do. Artorius is such a great fight. It's a good fight, but it's just like, man, it is... It's it's funny to think that they just kind of decided that it's just like, ah, eh, you know what? All the bosses... Are... I... I tried to go for like a parry and then like roll out of it and it <laughs> didn't quite work now, did it? <laughs> uh, okay. What was I talking about here? Oh yeah, Artorius is a great fight. Artorius is a very high quality, good fight, good stuff. This is our cookie cutter now. It's just... Ugh, that and Maria. Maria, the astral clock tower, which I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so influential you just get that explicitly in this game too. So, <laughs> what are you going to say? I remember being pretty disappointed with the Ashes of Ariandel DLC, where it's just like, oh, it's just, you're just doing Maria again? Come on. One more interesting fight. Nah. Oh, he jumped. Man, getting in the corner there is bleh. Blah. Hand of the King. Hand of the King is still a difficult fight, I want to say. I don't think it's... I don't think it's as easy as you're making it out to be. Yeah. I got it, though. I got it. I feel like I'm doing very, very good in terms of... 
Like what I should what I should be doing is I should be really focusing on staying kind of in the middle of the the arena just to make sure that I don't get slammed down on. <laughs> you face tank the whole thing. Old V had no concept of dodging. You can face tank, especially like you know the early fights. You can face tank pretty well. Okay, there you go. And there we are. See, that's all you really need. Yeah, it's just like just don't be on the edge. Get him a little bit a uh, little bit more in range here. There you go. Perfect. Let's wait one second so I don't have exploding bombs all over the arena. No, oh, I was fully expecting him to go for it. Yeah, exactly. And... There you go. <laughs> Hand of the King is going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. This goes to show you. It's, uh, old V had a better haircut, too. Oh, harsh. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah, no, I don't think Hand of the King is going to be a problem. I feel like I got him. Yo, he dodged a stab. I don't stab. Once I get the stab, it's fine. I, I'll give it one more here. Yeah, it's like now I, I think I got this. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Curse sword. The mobs are much easier. I mean, they're they're never particularly difficult, but yeah. Once again, should probably. Stay more in the middle of the arena. Oh yeah. All on five so take you out immediately. <laughs> Cause like I don't want exploding. I don't want exploding nonsense to be here. Two in a row, baby. Okay, I don't think Hand of the King is going to be a problem. <laughs> I think I got Hand of the King. <laughs> That's that's not an issue. Ah, told you. Yeah, I mean, it just took like a little. The, like the big thing was just to make sure you stay in the middle of the arena, right? Well, back in the time, back in the old timekeeper minds. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why I say timekeeper is the hardest. I guess. I mean, I'm still gonna need to do collecto, but you know. FMK, biter head, black hole head, conjunctivious head, tentacles head. I guess, I guess I'm gonna marry the conjunctivious tentacles head, uh, fuck the biter head, and then kill the black hole head. <laughs> what? You're gonna accidentally fall on spikes? Yeah, I mean, obviously, but that's why I'm gonna be doing it multiple times. <laughs> it's like, uh, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be like, okay, this is the one time that I'm gonna do a cursed sword run. <laughs> Ever. Like, oh no, I'm gonna do it until I beat it. That's Dead Cells, baby. That's how you do it, right? Alright. Ah. His kid wants you know how to, to do it. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I get the feeling that it's probably much like Hand of the King. 
that it, you know, there's not as much things to worry about, at least in terms of like falling swords and whatnot. Ah, you know how that is. Red time keeps my hellscape. I'd be able to. I, I got what do you mean, D colon? Right, three hits. What do you mean, D colon? You're the one that asked that question. Okay, there you go. And that's how you deal with that, I suppose. Uh, I think I got it. I think I got it, baby. Oh, I feel like I'm about doing it. Uh, two flawless bosses in a row. Three flawless fights in a row. How about that? Man. You know? I think I got it. <laughs> you did it, D. Colin. Come on now. Oh, it's kind of funny to think that it's just like, yeah, it's all it takes, baby. It's just, just practice, right? Man, maybe I'll just go put this up online just because it's like, eh. I feel, I feel like, I, I, I feel like I'm making actual noticeable progress at fighting these bosses with the cursed sword. Oi. Yeah, I'll put this up as like episode zero or something of the Cursed Sword Fridays or whatever I'm doing. Because I don't know, I feel like this has been going pretty well, right? I feel like I've been getting it. I feel like I've been, I've been doing slightly better with time. It's fun. Eh, maybe I will. I'll we'll just do it. I feel, I feel like this could be a fun watch. Like, hey, let's learn how to do curse bosses with the cursed sword. Cool stuff, eh? Man, it's like... I'm, I'm clearly progressively doing better and better. <laughs> it's like, you know, in just like an hour time here. Eh. Yeah, sure. I'll throw, I'll throw it up. I haven't put anything on the channel for a little bit, so... Because I've been working... Three hits! Three hits! How do you forget about that? <laughs> ah! Because I'm getting distracted talking about stuff here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Stop chatting and focus, man. <laughs> I can do both. There's nothing that stops me from... It's not a one or the other. <laughs> I... Uh, well, anyway, let's get on with this here. What is the best D-Make song? I, you know, I don't really listen to too many of D-Make songs. I feel like I should throw that on a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And just basically... I mean, yeah, it's like, obviously, I'm going to do a little bit better if I'm concentrating more. But at the same time, I feel like I don't really necessarily need to. What? Oh, that was weird. I love it when streamers focus entirely on the game in complete silence. Oh, come on now. Oh, I can't count to three either. Hey, they made they made Half-Life Alex. Half-Life Half -Life Alex absolutely is a real video game that exists. <laughs> Man, it's it's true though. It's like one of the things I wanted to do when starting streaming was just to be able to talk at all points in time, even if I am fucking playing the video game like this. <laughs> even if you're playing the video game full, trying to play the video game without ever getting hit a single time. But it has no three. I mean, is the number really that important? I ask you. Is that the deciding factor on if the Half Life is truly back or not? Uh, I feel like no. I feel like if anything, putting a number to it is only, you know, adding fuel to the fire. Oh, 
<laughs> the fire of what? I don't know. Some sort of fire. There's a fire somewhere. Trust me. I'm telling you. Ah, a hardcore game without being hit a single time. Yeah, what? It should be easy, right? <laughs> I rolled right into the... Yeah, that one was kind of... My, my usual strategy of rolling towards the timekeeper was clearly not working there. I should have just jumped. Nah. Count to five. One, two, Alex, four, five. Hey, is it really that much more or less arbitrary than three? I ask you. <laughs> I ask you. Isn't really a hardcore game, more of a softcore game. That's... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like that's... I feel like these words have different meaning in that context. <laughs> All right. Okay, and right into it. And there we are. Just keep on rolling. You know what I'm talking about. Kind of surprised you didn't go for the third uh, or the the second volley of, of stuff. Usually that's how that ends up going. Three zero three sixty one S. All right, come on now. Still gonna have to do like the same sort of practice for like all of the remix super bosses and everything on five cell mode. Oy. Is mobile easier? I am purposely trying to offend you. <laughs> Community note: This man is purposely trying to offend me. Ah! Yes, went right into the thing. Ah! Sword and dagger were in the game. <laughs> the gigantic super sword. It'd be like the, uh, the, the, the daggers you get from the Artorias reference guys in Dark Souls 3. I can't remember the name. Oh, Timekeeper Sword and Hookshot as a two-handed weapon. I don't know. I, I usually prefer not to have two-handed weapons, right? It's like, it is, it is kind of rough. Yeah. Abyss Watchers, thank you. Yes, I was trying to remember that name. I, I really struggled with that fight. I feel like a lot of other people didn't. It's, it's weird. But then again, I feel like I have a harder time with a lot of fights in Souls games than most other people. Where it's just like, ah, you know, final boss of Sekiro. Ah, yeah, I guess it was kind of difficult. Not as hard as the final boss of the hard ending. I'll tell or the, uh, the bad ending. I'll tell you that. Of course, how many people actually did that? Three fights in a row. Getting progressively more difficult. Eh, whatever. See, usually when she does a pause like that, it goes right into a second volley of stuff. Oh, sure. Miss watches in three attempts. I, like, I don't know. What, what, what was I doing wrong? How did I, how did I, how, why did it, why did that one, why did that fight always take me the most time to do? Yeah. Get closer, so I can do this. There we go. And by there we go, I mean, ah! Oh, three hits, three hits. How did I, I almost got hit by the, the, the three hits. I almost uh, got screwed up by the three hits again. I cannot believe it. I can't even believe it. How embarrassing would that be to get three hitted once more? Ah, that was so close. And there we go. Another victory. Hoy, I did them in two attempts. I, that, ah. It's weird. What? There are just some things that I am so much worse at, and I don't know why. It's like, everybody looks at me playing Dead Cells, and they're just like, why aren't you better at other games? And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. <ya. laughs> hey, more consistent.
The consistency is getting up there. I feel like I feel like we're really getting there, by the way. The weapon is best in PvP. Dagger is really good for parries. Yeah. That's what I've always seen. Bah. Oh, several years ago, I was a little overcompensated. I had a hard time. Go oh, they're talking about phone games. Games on your phone. I've never actually played a game on my phone before. <laughs> a little bit too greedy. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a bit until I get really consistent with the timekeeper, but you know how that goes. Oh, I've got to go fight the good doctor though at one point in time here. It's just the problem is that's a marathon fight, and that's just a that's an entire thing by itself, right? Don't think it'll be too difficult. Never understand why chess grandmasters are absolute garbage at Call of Duty. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. Why aren't you the best bloodline vampire the masquerade bloodlines player? Now that would be a good opportunity to do like the to do another one of those those uh, uh heavily edited videos. <laughs> Big story game and do that for like Fallout or something too. That'd be fun. We'll do that for Starfield. How about that? Nah. I'm working on Satisfactory right now. If you loved seeing me do From a Different Sky, wait until you get to see me do all of the slugs. <laughs> uh, it's, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad. <laughs> you don't have to get this quest to get pick up slugs six at a time, after all. Still, I like Satisfactory. I have a, I have a lot of fun with that game. <laughs> three hits, three hits, every time. Ah, oh. <laughs> what? It's, it's like that's such an absurdly bad thing to keep getting hit on. It's just, it's so embarrassing because it's such a simple thing to remember. <laughs> I uh, also did Mantis Lords in three, four attempts because I fought it, fought it a little late. Uh, considered one of the hardest base game bosses in Hollow Knight. Now, can the DLC stuff? Well, yeah, the DLC, DLC stuff gets so wacky. I, I feel like the dream fights were more difficult for me. Didn't find Mantis Lords too bad. I feel like dual boss fights, the Ornstein, the Smau, the Man well, Mantis Lords are triple boss fights, but you know what I'm talking about. It's like I've done so. I, I was talking about that when I was doing uh, the sassy child boss in in uh, Blasphemous recently, where it's just like, I'm so used to splitting my attention for bosses like this now that it's not even that big of a deal anymore. Like, I can just do these bosses pretty well. I mean, it's like Dead Cells, of course, you know, has you really just focusing on the entire screen at all points in time, thanks to, like, Inquisitors and stuff. And teleportation and everything. It's just like, I just, it's, it's not even a big deal. It took me so long to beat, like, the Fallen fallen Champion the first time. Stuff like that. Now I can just do them perfectly. I did I did them, like, flawlessly in the... in the Godmaster and everything. Like, no issue at all. It's... <laughs> too greedy. <laughs> ah! Mantis Lords, I won a first phase, two, and then Sisters of Battle are all three at once. Yes. That's the one. I mean, yeah, you're right. It is, I guess it is a dual boss fight, right? Because one stays in the background. I mean, it's like, it, even in, it, even like Dead Cells, where you got the Servants fight. It's just like, it's not that big of a deal to me. <laughs> or a boss, I think, was the guy. Was it or a boss in, in Blasphemous? Don't do it for Starfield, I'm playing it. Yeah, but that's the point. It's just like, if it is very empty, then you, then that's, that's why you'd want to have that sort of extremely cut down experience. There are so many times that I've tried to watch people play in like big open world games, and I'm just, and it's just like, I don't know, it's so scattered and everything. I like having the extremely condensed version like I did with the uh, Dragon's Dogma. Which is why I feel like I would be a lot more excited to play open world games at this point in time. Because I feel like that sort of that sort of format. I don't know. I found it a lot more fun to do. I'm here, sitting here thinking about like, hey, how am I going to kind of put this together? Are we going to try and hack together a plot out of uh, all these disparate side quests? Valmiro is a terrible person. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Wonder if Valmiro is going to come back for the sequel. I hope not. 
Three hits. Do not forget. It's three hits. Oh, actually went into the sword swings. Do not forget, it's three hits. Hi. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. I almost got away with it, but that was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I did like they don't roll towards man. Can Curse Sword still have 50% of full health? I don't think so, but it can have two times damage, so you know. That's definitely something to try and fish out at some point in time, right? If possible. Curse Sword is expensive. It's an expensive, expensive piece of equipment, so you know. It is. It is not really the easiest thing to reforge an awful lot. All right. Of course, you know me. I also barely ever reforge stuff, even as much as it might benefit me. Which I I couldn't tell you why why I don't engage with that mechanic more, but and eh, whatever. I don't. That's how it is. There's so many things that just like I am actually like you know parrying with a shield now and everything. Which I feel like I just I just got into the habit of not doing for a really long time with all the, the challenge runs and everything. But now I'm finally uh, but it's like, you know, this is this is actually forcing me. Forcing me to Man. I really don't like when she runs at me <laughs> with the with the spinning shuriken. Yeah, all right. Turned around to get that parry. Bleh. Oh well. Ah. Also, the reforge is the fourth wall break of swords. Oh yeah, I see that. <laughs> I was talking about specifically with the, uh, the the like, how do you sharpen a grenade on this thing? <laughs> oh man, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Was Bloodlines the? Single player one. Which one was the single player one? Bl Bloodline was the, was the RPG. I'm trying to remember, what was the one that was like a single player game that had like a uh, that wasn't like you know a create your own protagonist sort of thing? It had a different name or something. I don't remember. Something like that. I don't know. It's kind of hard to think right now. Not quite sure if you've noticed, but I mean. Even as I'm starting to get this on kind of autopilot to a certain extent. It's not quite there perfectly just yet. At least, you know, I feel like first phase is very consistent. Like, this is absolutely good enough to... This is like absolutely prime time material. The, uh, the first phase. But the second phase, you know, is still part of the fight and everything. So I can't just get away from doing that. I can think of his bloodlines. There was another one. There was another game that was like bad. I mean, not the bloodlines was super great. It's one of the buggiest pieces of garbage you've ever seen. Sure, it might be good as an RPG, but still, game barely works, or at least barely worked when it first came out. I think it's better now. I mean, obviously it's better now. I remember, it's just like a lot of reviews were just like, oh well, I this game seems like it might be good, but I can't play it. Uh, good stuff. No, oh, I rolled into the sword. That's so bad. Was it console exclusive? No, I think it was still uh, PC too. I, I'm going to look this up real quick. Uh, Vampire Masquerade game. What was the other one called?
can't. Masquerade games. I mean, yes, it's Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, there's Blood Pines, Bloodlines. Oh, they made a sequel? I didn't even realize that. Blood Hunt? No, not the Battle Royale. The one, the other one that came out that I'm trying to think of. I saw a playthrough of it. Like, super, super... Oh, is it Redemption? Yeah, I think... Yeah, Kristoff, that's the one. Okay, yes. It was Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, Redemption. Redemption. <laughs> I saw a playthrough of that way back in the day. That's just like that was that was for a long time the other Vampire the Masquerade game that was really bad or something. There you go. What's up with these stupid long titles? All the all the 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 uh, World's Darkness games have have titles like that. There's something there, you know, mythical creature, the something related to mythical creature. Like Werewolf, the Apocalypse, or was it Wraith? I don't even remember. And just a bunch of stuff like that. Bah! Bah, I say. Like the television show that they made of it was called Kindred, the Embraced. It doesn't seem very related. It's a related in the actual lore of the game. Lore, the... Lore the the the, the 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 learn the lore. There you go. That's where I'm, that's the dumb phrase that I'm trying to shout at you. <laughs> um, learn the lore. Yeah, all right. Like Mage the Ascension. I'm trying to think of. A, a, yeah, I only know like five of them. Vampire is obviously the big one. That's the one everybody knows. There's more. Well, there's plenty more that all take place in the same basic world and all that sort of stuff. As you do. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, yeah, phase one going pretty well. I just gotta I just gotta be able to it's either just practice phase two so that I get all timings down, or try and come up with a couple different strategies for dealing with the things that end up getting me killed. Mostly falling sword related. <laughs> As you do. Still though, I feel like I'm 90% the way there. All things considered. And that entire deal. Now if I try to take this into, oh, let's say... A, uh, the super fight. <laughs> Got a little bit greedy on that one since I saw that they had a, since I saw that she was having kind of like a, a, a very brief pause in between doing the attacks. Ah, I rolled into doing the melee attack again. One of those things like throwing the volley of, of shurikens twice that are just kind of messing me up. You know how that is. Eh, bra, yay, whatever, yay, whatever. Just saying. Falling sword related deaths. One in every ten people are going to be killed by a falling sword. Call it Damocles Syndrome. Frankly, I don't know why we keep hanging all these swords up around. I knew it was a pro I knew it was gonna be a problem from the very first second that I saw it. There we are. And there we go. Kinda of surprised that like Timekeeper is more difficult than Hand of the King. That's sad, that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna die against him at least a couple times, I'm sure. Still like not you still die in one hit after all. It's a it's a very razor's edge sort of proposition that you're gonna be coming up with. 
I, 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 I was so indecisive trying to figure out. It's just like, oh, do I want to stand here while doing the parry? And then I just kind of died. <laughs> uh, that was pretty bad. Eh, whatever, is what I say. Whatever. And then, yeah, just... Um, just the good doctor is the only one. A live run? It's not really a run. It's more just boss training with the cursed sword. Since I'm doing cursed... Since I'm planning to do, like, actual four real cursed sword runs for the most cursed month of the year. October. And I'm gonna talk like this the entire time! Ooh, spooky! Oh, I'm a ghost! But yeah, if you like seeing me grind up against the, uh, the timekeeper, this is the stream for you! Which, I mean, I don't know, maybe you do! Maybe you're into this! Ooh! That's how ghosts talk! <laughs> well, how do you know? I expect that speech throughout the entire YouTube VOD. Uh, yeah, just don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's going to be happening for the entire two hours. Ooh, it's unwatchable. <laughs> By the way, we are coming up at about two hours, and I probably am going to <laughs> like likely end the stream at that point. So unfortunately, kind of coming to the tail end of it. It's been good practice, though. Call it Orktober. Why don't I just go play like Orcs Must Die or something? I, I, I always hear, I've heard good stuff about those games. I know nothing about them, but... Or how about Shadow of More War? Or whatever. Don't you guys want to see that? Don't you want us guys want to see... How about Gollum? <laughs> Haven't you guys always wanted to see what that game's about? Me, uh, like, a little bit. I'm not gonna say, like, no. Alright. Yes. <laughs> I gotta play The Hobbit at some point in time, the GameCube game. I still got that on the list. It's just, you know, I don't have a GameCube. Shadow of More Doors. Oh, there's so many doors here. I mean, I've seen door-related games before. Hi! <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah! Little bit close there. There we go. Hey, hey. Ah. Oh man. Not play train wreck games, the great meta series. I mean, you already got the. Uh, you already got um. Omicron, there you go. Hey, Death's Door. What? What do you mean? Death's Door was not. Oh, the, the what door-related games have you played? <laughs> okay, I thought you were talking about those being the train wreck games. <laughs> I'm like, wait, Death's Door was really good. <laughs> I don't appreciate that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's like we played Death Death's Door was definitely a door-related game, but I've seen like other door-related games too. Like there was a game called like Even More Doors that I saw. That could be a fun like thing. Bestified is kind of Dory. I would not... Unless you're talking about, like, Kekaku Dory. No. See, I know Japanese, everybody. Um, this is my... This is the extent of my many years of study. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah? You want to do that? I thought you were going to do a teleport, to be honest. Mike Dory, comic book author? Yes. Dory, door like, door esque. Doro -thee. You know what I'm talking about here? 
Do you know what I'm talking about? Ah, don't see the W as much as the, the Kusa anymore. I feel like that's a more common way to, <laughs> to type lol, <laughs> basically. Makes me miss the days of lols and jazz. <laughs> Does it? No, you're right. You're right, me. It doesn't. Ah! Shaved his head and he's bald now. Good! <laughs> and Pooley should be bald. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird that it just drops you out right on the wall. Uh, put another brick in it. I died. Anyway. Oh, about five more games to play. Could go play... Uh, yeah, door-related uh, door things. Could go play... Um, Planescape. Planescape Torment. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, I don't know if I'm all that interested in playing Planescape. I played it once. Back in the day. Did most of the stuff in that game. It was fun. Yeah. Come on. And a couple hits here. Get a little huckable hit here and there. There you go. Bob of the Breach has been named for Mobile Suit Bob. <laughs> yeah? Wait, is this like... Wait, when you say The Breach, are you talking about like the game The Breach? There's a... This way too close there. Uh, there's there's now going to be a turn-based strategy Baba game. <laughs> Where's Baba? <laughs> Where's Baba now? A series of games. <laughs> the Baba genre. Put it alongside Strand type games. You know that'd be a good one to do a to do like a very truncated series on. <laughs> That's Stranding. Into the Breach X Baba is you. It is! Okay, so yeah, the turn-based strategy. Tra yeah, no, it wasn't called The Breach. It's called Into the Breach. I played that game on stream. That was during one of my Bible reading streams. That's right, people. If you're not watching my streams, you're missing me reading the Bible. And then having text-to-speech read the Bible. I know, it's... You're missing out on so much, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit too close there. Too close for comfort. There we go. Uh, there we are. And one more time for good measure. Yeah, like I can very consistently get to the second phase now. All I gotta do is just get some more training in on that. And I think I should be perfectly fine to use the cursed sword for at least the basic route that I'm taking. I don't know if people are really into it. Maybe more routes. Maybe we'll go try to do a cursed sword to the queen. Cursed sword to the to the Dracul. Not that. All right, cut that out, yo. Whoa! All right, cut that. I said to cut that out. Ah. Sorry to have missed Bible study. You can always just go back and watch the Dead Cells episode on the Bible that I did. <laughs> Stupid. It's not going to be a full-on game like Baba's You Are ESA, more akin to the KK in the Caves of Peril, or Baba Does Taxes. Oh, uh, yeah, the other Baba games. From the Babaverse. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, yeah, I'm just going two hours. I feel like that should be that should suffice for today. <laughs> Still probably go and put up some uh, a series of a few of the cursed sword runs that I've done as of recent. I mean, I got them recorded after all. Still though, I feel like this has been a fruitful stream. I feel like I I, I feel like there has been some pretty clear. It's incremental, but it is still very clear progress. Like I I'm I am I am getting the cursed sword. The cursed sword grind is paying off. I think I should be able. I think we should be ready for prime time. Any point now. 
Because like I said, it's like all I got to do, it's like I'm going to have a much better run in the actual run that I beat. Uh, Koi Soy. Okay. Two hours and pivot the Dome Keeper. I was going to show you the uh, the start that I had for the Satisfactory and then probably go and do some more stuff with that, to be honest. Ah, I didn't roll fast enough. I tried, I tried to get a little bit more distance to make sure that I could... Uh, I should have just rolled right into stuff. That's eh, probably fine. Anyway. Ugh. Yeah, that's definitely going to be one of those things to work on where it's just like a because what we because obviously like one of the things that I'm trying to do is get a good amount of distance on the the timekeeper because if you stand still in that second phase you die. <laughs> But the thing is, it's just like, you really have to kind of prepare for everything before you start getting distance. You can't just start getting distance and hope it's going to work out, right? And that entire thing. I don't I don't even know what that was. You know, I think about two hours is a good amount of time. Let's, uh... Oh, let's just wrap it up here, given that I'm starting to play this a bit worse now.